Hello everyone, welcome to Halo Moon Tarot. This is your weekly love reading for Scorpio. How's everyone doing? Hope you're all doing well. Hope you've had a good week. Let's see what's going on with you guys. Welcome back to all my subscribers. A big welcome to all the new viewers. Oops, I got the wrong deck here. That's not the one I want. I want this deck. All right, there we go. What is the overall energy for Scorpio? Scorpio, love energy in the cards, love and romance. What is the overall energy? Love and romance for Scorpio. All right. Ooh, walking away. Some of you are going to walk away from something or somebody. Yeah. Look at that. Walking out into the light, something new, leaving something behind. Could be anything. Let's see what this is. All right, Scorpio. We'll hold this up. You guys can see it a little bit better. Yeah, walking out, leaving something behind, walking into the future, going into the light. Yeah. Let's have a boo. Scorpio, love energy in the cards. Sun, moon, rising, Venus, men and women. What is coming in? What's going out? What's changing in the love lives of the Scorpio viewers? Clear messages and guidance, please, for Scorpio regarding their romantic love life. Scorpio. Four of Wands. Ooh, somebody's walking away from a, a marriage, a commitment. Somebody's going off to get their ten of cups somewhere else. Somebody's walking away from something. Somebody could be just moving, too. Um, yeah, seven of wands. Yeah, somebody's standing up for themselves and walking away. Leaving something behind. Yep, two of pentacles. Somebody's made that decision. They've been tossing ideas back and forth. There may be two people to choose from. All right. Yeah, too many burdens here. There was a lot of burdens. This has been tough making this decision, Scorpios. Very, very tough. Wow, this message couldn't be more direct. Some of you are leaving a relationship, a foundation behind. You're standing up for yourself. You're taking a stand. You feel guarded, defensive. You're ready to fight for what you believe in. You've, you're making a decision. Somebody was either juggling, there was burdens. There's a very, there's too many burdens in this situation. Yeah, too much weighing you down. Somebody's dropping a burden as well. It's like, it's like you walked away or somebody walked away. And it's like now they want to come back and get that Ten of Cups with you. You know, they want to leave whatever happened in the past. But I do feel like someone's walking away. Yeah, you were the other person, and we have the Nine of Cups, yeah, somebody was reciprocating to other people, they offered one cup, they didn't offer anything else, I feel like you took a stand here, there's too many burdens, uh, you've been burdened by this, you're just dropping this, yeah, you've made the decision to drop this, you want something more balanced, it took you a bit, it took you a while, this was a tough decision, okay, yeah, you took a stand. You're now in control. You have your boundaries up. We have Aries uh, energy. It doesn't have to be an Aries. We have, well, just Aries so far, Scorpio. Okay, this could be you. Yeah, yeah, look at that. We have, somebody's taking a stand here with the Emperor. Somebody might have been juggling. There's some arrogance. Somebody was too controlling. Yeah, you stood up for yourself. You're defending yourself. You're waiting for other ships to come in. Some of you are waiting for news that are going to help alleviate this burden. Okay, or you're dropping this person and you're going to wait for someone else. Yeah, you're just going off to get that Ten of Cups somewhere else. You are standing up for what you believe in. That's it. Yeah, healing. You're purging something, letting something go. You're going to heal. Uh, you are a star. You see yourself as a star now. Then we also have this Aquarius energy. Somebody sees you as a star too. Somebody, you're gonna, you're waiting for somebody to come towards you. 
that you see as a star, but you're you're definitely leaving someone behind. You're purging this, you're healing. I think you've healed. You're definitely done. You're really, really finished with something. Walking away from a, a, a commitment, a relationship, a house. You might have been living with somebody. You're just finished. Ooh, wow, I haven't seen a reading like this for so long where somebody really just does it. And like, that's it, finished. Going off to get, you're going into the light, leaving something behind that no longer serves you. There's no stability, so you're walking away, right? The, Definitely you've healed. You're holding yourself in high regard. You're going to wait for your ships to come in, you know. Some of you are still kind of, you know, have been holding on to this for a long time, just holding on to that one wand, waiting for news, waiting for something to happen uh, with this person, you know. And uh, they may have been juggling, trying to make a decision as well, but you're just dropping it. It's enough. You're taking a stand. You have your boundaries up. Somebody was arrogant, controlling uh, they wanted everything their way, all right, in the negative. You were waiting for this person. You were hoping they were going to drop those burdens, that kind of behavior, and come towards you, but you're done. You're just purged, finished. Look at that. Completely finished with this person. Letting it go. I'm blown away. I'm, I'm actually happy to see this. If somebody didn't treat you right, um, and you've had to take a stand, and you finally, they, they, you know, they offered you one cup, and they kept the rest of themselves. There was arrogance, probably selfishness, greed. The, you know, the emperor can be a lot of things, um, but I feel like it's you putting up your boundaries. That you are finished. You're, you're waiting for your ships. I feel like other ships have come in. Somebody here who sees you as a star that holds you in high regard is here. You're going for your. You're going for your your dreams. You're going to go after your dreams. Uh, you may be getting a wish fulfillment here. You're getting a wish fulfillment. Uh, Aquarius energy. Oh, Scorpio, tell me about the Four of Wands. What's going on here? Some of you just made that. That's it. You're done. Tell me about the Four of Wands. There we go. Yep. Yeah. yeah. You become very clear about something. Now it's time to walk away and turn your back. You're going to get you're going to get a you want a new beginning with somebody else. You're taking a stand. You're standing up for what you believe in. You believe you deserve to have your wish come true, your dreams fulfilled, that somebody treats you like a star. Okay. Yeah. Tell me about this Eight of Cups. Eight of Cups energy for Scorpio. Yeah, somebody just wasn't treating you right. Yep, done, finished. There you are, Scorpio, you're done. You're leaving a Leo behind. I actually think something was exposed about this Leo to do with a house, a home. Something became clear. You're going off to have a new beginning. Wow. Very clear message. Yeah, you're, look at that. You're taking a stand. You're standing up for what you believe in. You want to be happy. Uh, you want to be emotionally fulfilled. You're just letting something go. Some, you've become very clear. It's time for a new beginning. So you just, you're walking away. You Some of you are leaving a house, actually moving out of this relationship. There was a commitment here, but something became clear. Okay. Um, now it's building upon itself. This is interesting. Yeah, you're ready. You're ready for a new beginning. You want something solid, something committed. Um, you want to be happy. So to do that, you need to walk away and take a stand. Yeah, look at that. Ready for a new beginning. You made a look at that. You had two pentacles. Some of you had two people to choose from. You're picking one. You're leaving somebody behind and coming towards someone else. You have an offer coming in. Somebody's made you a better offer. Tell me about this. This just takes the burden off. It's like done. Just like that. Whatever you were with somebody that was weighing you down for a long time. They just didn't offer you anything. One little cup. Yeah. Somebody selfish and arrogant. Tell me about the ten of wands. Yep. 
you manifested this new beginning. Somebody's manifesting you. Somebody's coming in. Yeah, you're getting an offer. You've got a you're you've got a Gemini, Virgo, Leo. Somebody's manifesting a new beginning with you. It's going to release all your burdens. You're getting your wish fulfillment. A new offer coming in. So you're leaving one person and going to the other. I love this. You had a choice between two. It was a tough choice. It burdened you. There you go. But this offer came in. Something grounded, solid, something practical. Somebody else has, has you know, it's like you're mirroring someone. It's like you're manifesting each other. And to release some burdens. Tell me about this Nine of Cups. What's going on with the Nine of Cups? Yeah, you have other options. Yeah, there was a lot of confusion here. Somebody didn't see your abundance. They didn't offer you any. They were offering their cup to other people. They treated you like an option, but now you have other options. And uh, so you're just leaving them behind. See ya. Bye-bye. I love that card. Yeah. Nice. Tell me about the Emperor. What's going on with the Emperor? Ooh, yep. Yeah. You're taking a leap of faith. You're going on a new path. You have an Aries. There's an Aries here, Scorpio. I feel like you've got... It uh, doesn't have to be, but it's funny. we got the Fool and the Emperor, both Aries cards. Or you're just taking on that energy. You're ready for a new beginning. Wow, i got to see what's beside it before I dig into that pair. Tell me about the Three of Wands. What's going on with the Three of Wands? Yeah, you've got options. You're taking a stand. Yeah, you've been waiting. You were waiting for somebody. Somebody's going through a process. I feel like you were both manifesting each other, both waiting for each other. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, waiting for news. This person's come in. This is your ship. King of Pentacles, somebody who's got money financially, uh, stable, somebody grounded, practical. This has taken quite some time. And uh, you're taking a leap, having a new beginning with this person. You're in control now. Hmm, tell me about the star. Yeah, you're holding yourself in high regard. You were waiting for this person to come in. You manifested this, but now you're, you've got other options. So I almost feel like it, you had two... Uh, somebody's a Leo here, Scorpio, somebody's a Gemini, somebody's a Virgo, Aries energy. I feel like uh, you've got two people. You've been waiting for news of this person, this Taurus Virgo Capricorn. Somebody wants to heal a situation. They see you as a star. They hold you in high regard. You are single. I feel like this person is single too. I think they're both single. I think you have options. You may have two people. You may have an Aries coming towards you as well, ready to take a risk. This person wants to come in. They may be a bit domineering and controlling, but they are an emperor. Okay. It's almost like, wow. Me more on this beginnings. Tell me more about the beginnings card, the fool. Why is this here? You got an emperor coming in. You're going to take a risk. This person's a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. You've been waiting for them. They're your ship. They're here. They have arrived. Where did that go? Oh, I guess it flipped right over. Oh, there we go. Yeah, there's going to be... You're taking your passion elsewhere. Yeah, somebody's ready to take a risk. They're leaping towards you. They could be Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Aries, energy, but um, yeah you got a choice between two, and I feel like as soon as you get the whatever offer you get, like I almost feel like you're kind of tossing ideas back and forth. you got two people, and I actually feel like somebody else is doing that around you, making a choice, but they're picking you, and you're, and you're picking someone, but there's, a, there's an offer coming in. You've manifested each other. You've manifested this. All right, there's a burden that's being fixed, and there's a new beginning 
somebody's coming in it's going to fix the whole situation and the burdens you have options somebody sees the possibilities they see you as a wish come true they see you as their option uh, they're coming in strong okay they they i feel like they've been waiting for you you've been waiting for them scorpio and i feel like you're both single some of you are purging definitely leaving someone behind and healing big time yeah you have a lot of abundance somebody sees that about you and you're gonna stay single till this happens i can guarantee you you're, you're just kind of waiting for this one person and as soon as they come uh, some of you, uh, you may be married to someone or you might be in a commitment or, yeah, it's interesting. Yeah, reciprocate. You're going to wait for this person to reciprocate. Equal reciprocity. Somebody's coming in to reciprocate and tell you how they feel. They see you as a star. They think you're everything. They want to know, too. They're going to be asking you if you're single. You're going to ask them if they're single. That's the reciprocation, what's going to be shared between you. Yep, this is going to take a little bit of work. Okay, this person wants to work with you. They want to, they actually want to work with you. You might know them from work. Okay. It's going to take equal reciprocity to work. That's something that's going to be talked about. Yeah, it's going to take some work. This person's waiting for the right time. You're going to need to be patient. I feel like your investment's actually paying off here. This being patient and waiting. So, I gotta pick up these cards. Hopefully, I don't fall out of the chair. <laughs> I'm all curled up in the chair. All right. I got so excited there, the cards just went flying. Tell me what was exposed with the sun. What is this new beginning? It's reconciliation. I seen the two of cups. Yep. I think somebody has somebody has become very clear. They want to have a commitment with you. And I think what was exposed, the person you're walking away from, is they have somebody else. But somebody wants a reconciliation. They're becoming clear about your history, your memory that you see eye to eye. A new beginning. Yep. There's going to be if there's a foundation. You've already got a foundation with this person. But you're leaving one person that you have a foundation with and going towards someone else. So you have a foundation with someone in the past. There's commitment here. Wow, tell me about this. Eight of Cups, walking away, going off to get that Ten of Cups, leaving. Somebody could be walking away from you and you got somebody else coming in and they're walking away from something and coming towards you too i that's what i'm seeing you're both leaving somebody and coming together what's going on with the transformation what's changing what's transforming here this this somebody's walking away it's going to create change death card endings beginnings tell me about this scorpio yeah you're walking away all right There you are, standing in your power. You're focusing on you. You know exactly what you want. You're standing in your power, standing up for what you believe in. All right, yeah, you, you're taking a stand. You want to be happy. You're going for your highest emotional fulfillment. You're happily ever after. That's what you're focused on. So yeah, you're leaving something behind. You're going to get that Ten of Cups with the person who fulfills you them emotionally. And there's somebody else who feels that way about you. Wow. Tell me about this Ten of Cups. Who's the, who else feels this? Yep, moving forward. Look at that. Moving towards a new beginning in love. Calmly and peacefully. Being emotionally fulfilled. Things are going to keep moving. Yeah, you. somebody sees you that way. You see them that way. I see a little air energy here. Uh, there's a little Gemini, a little Virgo energy. So you're leaving one of these people and moving towards someone else. Or vice versa. I'm telling you, I just feel like there's a few people involved. and it, it, It's all about several people walking away and then walking towards each other. Ace of Pentacles. What does this Ace of Pentacles bring?
Yeah. Yeah, you're standing up for what you believe in. Yeah. You've healed. You're healing something. You believe something can be healed. You're and you're stand I feel like you're guarded. You're kind of holding back from one person. Uh, you're holding one person back. You're taking a stand and healing, letting something go, keeping your energy clear, all right, and having this new beginning. Yeah, you're just finished with someone. Yeah, you're going through the gate. You're walking into the light to your highest emotional fulfillment. Tell me about the magic magician. Why is the magician here with the Ten of Wands? I just feel like I need to dig deeper. Why is the magician here with the Ten of Wands? Somebody's a jack of all trades. You've manifested. You're mirroring each other. You're both doing the same thing. You're both leaving someone else behind to come together. Or leaving something behind. It could be a person, a behavior. It's looking more like uh, foundations, home. Maybe you're both, oh... Maybe you're both moving out of your home and moving in together. Maybe that's what it is. You're both walking away from where you live and you're going to go live somewhere else together too. That seems like part of it. Tell me about magic. What's this magician here for? Why is the magician here? What's being manifested? Yeah, somebody manipulated you in the past. They, they didn't offer you. They gave you one cup because they had other options. And uh, they were manipulative, so you've got some, you're manifesting a new beginning. Now you have the options. Yeah, something's coming to an end. End a cycle. The wheel of fortune's in your favor. You now have options. Yeah, that's the truth. You're cutting out, You're somebody's cutting out their other options, or uh, you're cutting out all your other options. You're picking one, because there is juggling here and, and making a decision to pick one, making the decision Someone's making that decision and they're doing it. Coming towards you and you are too. You're both doing it. You're both mirroring each other. <laughs> I can't believe it. Yep, putting an end to these burdens. Done. End to cycles. There's somebody here that was burdening you. Uh, something that was burdening you and it's finished. Yep. Yep, moving away. You're moving towards the light. Yeah, moving away from somebody who wasn't honest, that manipulated you, lied to you. Yeah. Tell me about this King of Pentacles. I'm grabbing a fresh deck for this. Actually, I don't have one handy. Darn it. I don't... There's too many cards out of that deck now. Tell me about the King of Pentacles. What's going on with the King of Pentacles? Oh, Spirit has your back. Somebody wants you back. Somebody's been watching you. Yeah, this, look at that, the eagle spirit. Somebody wants you back. They've been keeping an eye on you. Someone's circling back too. It's a bird. They fly. Someone's coming back around. They're leaving somebody to come towards you. You're leaving someone as well. Spirit's got your back here. Someone feels that you are their spiritual connection. You're their soulmate. They're coming to get you. Back around. Oh, there's this energy that's been going on lately. Give me one more on the King of Pentacles. What is this person's intentions? What is this person's intentions? For Scorpio. To be at home. And time to heal. They want to shed the old skin. They want to heal this situation. They want to be at home with you. They want to come home. That's what it is. Look at that. Somebody wants to come home. They want to come to your house. They want to talk to you and reciprocate they yeah they they realize that they want a new beginning they're becoming clear that they want that you're home you're that person uh, they want to live to you they want to commit they want to live with you somebody i think is going to ask you to move in with them possibly yeah you're home they're comfortable with you this is something solid the wombat spirit be at home yeah, somebody's surrendering to you. Moth to the flame, they can't resist. Yeah, somebody's surrendering and they're coming in. All right, Scorpio, you ready? Uh, this is pretty wild. All right. I feel like I need to take more cards, but I think that's good. I don't want to bring anything into it that's even slightly negative. That'll take it in a spin. It'll just go in circles anyway. Uh, and I feel that when I get this card in a situation like this yeah somebody wants you back they're circling around they're watching you like a hawk they're ready to focus on you and to focus 
on this. They want to heal this situation. They're shedding that old skin, the snake spirit. Yeah, time to heal. They want to come home. They want to come to your house. They want to come and see you. I wonder who this could be, Scorpio. They're surrendering to you like a moth to the flame. You're going to get your wish granted. Your dreams are coming true. Yeah. This person's going to reciprocate how they feel about you. They're going to ask you if you're single, vice versa. Uh, they hold you in high regard. You're going to reciprocate the same. You're going to work together on this. It's going to take some work. You want to make sure they're invested. It's telling you, make sure you're patient. Make sure they're patient, that they're fully invested and they're putting the work in before you reciprocate and give them anything. Don't be generous. If this is somebody coming back around, obviously someone wants you back. Okay, they're leaving someone to come back to you. You're leaving someone and going towards them. So I feel like you need to hold yourself in high regard. Do not reciprocate anything to this person until they prove to you that they are invested. You might need to be a bit of patience for this to work. You know, you may have to tell them to be patient. You're going to have to be patient, right? You have to show me that you're invested and that you're going to work on this. And I think they're going to surrender. They're going to do it. They want to be with you, plain and simple. Uh, somebody's seen the light here big time. So, all right, Scorpio, there you go. You guys enjoy. I hope this plays out exactly how you want it to. Take care of yourselves. Bye for now.